Hi hi everyone, welcome to Eat to Secret. Today I thought we'd do a soap inspired by the Met Gala. So I've gone on to the photos of Met Gala 2022, this year's Met Gala, which just happened the other day, um, and who is on the best dress list. So let's have a flick through these and see what we've got. Um, Kim Kardashian there in Marilyn Monroe's dress. Well, Marilyn looked better in it. Mm, that's a bit crazy, but I love the colours and the metallicness. Um, really nice colour scheme. Kylie Jenner, just like an off-white wedding dress, basically. The theme was like old-fashioned um, movie glamour, something like that. Um, uh, definitely not. Hmm, that's a possibility. Just thinking of the colours here. Oh, Sarah Jessica Parker. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to make a black and white soap. I, I'm guessing they maybe are. Um, what is it that mo the movie Oliver? What do you call the little kid? Not Oliver, the other one. What's his name? You know who I mean. The other kid in Oliver. That's lovely, but not for my soap. nice oh that's nice oh that's definitely my favorite so far I love the feathers and the blues are gorgeous blue and lovely mix with those greens and yellows I really like that very pretty if I don't do that one I might do that at a later date no these are so gone with the wind honey Ah, here we are. This is the one. Tiana Taylor and Winnie Harlow in Iris Van Herpen. It's obviously the the highest in blue I'm looking at here. So that's a definite possibility. Nope. Nice, but nope. Very Elvis that, isn't it? Oof, no, 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 Bella. Bella Hadid, no. Kind of pretty. Shoes are ridiculous. Black again. Oh, oh no, Nicki Minaj, no. Oh no, no, no. Where's the top? Where's the top? You've got a massive belt and no top. It's just say uh, covering, just say uh, Burberry. Wow, I'm shocked at Burberry. Nice. Very smart. Oh, very nice. Oh, that's nice. I love that. I couldn't wear it, of course, but she looks so good in it, Vanessa. Right, I think we've probably gone as far through as we need to go because I'm definitely... That uh, Hyacinth McCaw colour is calling my name. Who was that? Emma Chamberlain. I thought that was um, Jessica Simpson's sister, but obviously not. That's nice mind, isn't it? That's real stylish. That's gorgeous. I would look like a big bird or something in that. 
Oh dear. That's... Oh my goodness. I've actually... Oh, what? Yeah, that hyacinth macaw colour is calling my name, of course. So this is the one. Let's make a soap inspired by this gown by Iris Van Herpen, worn by Tiana Taylor. Today we're making an essential oil blend soap um, in a slab mould with my favourite blue of the moment, Blue Ribbon from TKB Trading. So we're going to need some titanium dioxide as well which I've blended up with some sunflower oil in a, um, not a Vitamix, in a magic bullet. It really grinds down that titanium dioxide very well so you don't get any little speckles in your soap. Right, the essential oil blend we're using today that I've created is ginger, cedarwood, lemon verbena, sweet orange and pink grapefruit and I'm going to call it ginger lognoso. Does that mean anything to anyone? Right, let's get some soap made, shall we? So I've already added my lye solution into my oils and the size of the batch I'm making today is a one and one sixth what I call a one and one six size recipe meaning it's a full batch plus a sixth of my batch uh, added together it's one and one sixth I'm hoping it's going to fill that slab mould well I know that a regu my regular size which is 5.5 .5 kilos doesn't quite fill that mould and I want it really full if not a bit fuller on the top so let's blend Okay, so now we've got a very light trace, uh, but the oils and the lye are well blended together. I'm going to separate this into three different colours because we're going to have the blue ribbon on its own, then we're going to have blue ribbon mixed with white, and then we're going to have a white top, but also all three of the colours drizzled on the top as well. So what I'm going to do, I'm separating them into these three containers. I just want to try and get an even mix of each uh, so we get the same quantity of each colour in there. And I don't quite know, I could work it out with a calculator I guess. But I'm just going to pour it into these and see if we get like two kilos of each colour. Might be two kilos of each colour. So it looks like it makes a, a six kilo batch. In two of them, we're going to have titanium dioxide, and in one of them, no di titanium dioxide. So I've just got my squeezy bottle with my TD in, and I want quite—I want it quite white on the top if I can get it white. Just two squeezes there, and four squeezes in that one, and then we're going to take some of that gorgeous blue and add it to the one with less TD I 
I don't know if this uh, essential oil blend is going to discolour the soap. I'm hoping not because I don't think I've ever used uh, an essential oil that discolours soap much. Um, but I haven't, I have used cedar wood before, but it was over 10 years ago, and so I can't remember whether it discolours. It is quite a rich colour. Um, I guess we'll find out. Obviously, I don't want it to discolour. I don't like fragrances that discolour. I can handle them a bit if they go like a golden colour, or yellow is fine, even orange. Um, and brown's fine. If I want to make a brown soap so we need a bit more blue in there probably another two squeezes so we've put about two four six eight we've put about ten mils of color in there that's better still think it needs more yeah, let's go for some more. That's a beautiful colour, isn't it? Am I driving you mad yet by saying how much I love this colour? So there must be 20 squeezes of colour in there now, 20 mils. Right, and then in this one, obviously there's no titanium dioxide. Just see what we've got there. Yeah, I think we need some more because it's not very um, pigmented. The other thing is like fragrances or essential oils that can sometimes change the tone of the colour that you're using so instead of having a lovely warm violet this could go like ever so slightly green or yellowy and ruin the beautiful warmth of colour that we've got in here. Right so we're about there with the colours. I am going to put more TD in, in there but I'll leave that till later because that's going to be the colour that's going on the top. The middle colour will be this blue and then this is going to be the on the bottom layer.
can smell that ginger and lemon verbena that's what I put the most of in there is the lemon verbena so it's like a woody gingery lemon scent but it's not actually dead strong on the lemon the sweet orange I mean if you buy regular sweet orange essential oil it's not very good at holding the fragrance in soap so you're better off getting the five fold uh, sweet orange essential oil which I haven't got uh, so we might lose some of the orange in there So you can see we've got quite a, it's still soft in places, so probably we'll need the spoon for this one. The, the soap's not going to be as high as I thought either. I was hoping the, the quantity I'd made would have been enough to actually fill this mould. So um, maybe I should have done a batch and a half instead of a batch and a sixth. So let's put some soap drizzle on top of this soap, shall we? Don't want two big clumps on there. But these are actually a bit stringy. That's not what I want. More like the thicker parts. But I guess those thicker parts that are in there now will show up, won't they? Now, time for the lighter blue. It's better. It's more what I'm aiming for. Oh, light clumps. Gosh, I have not.
I don't know about you, but I love this top. It's gorgeous. What do you think? Would you rather add a done a swirl on there? Or do you like the fact that I've just left it the way it is? Be interesting to see the cut, won't it? All right, so this will sit right here overnight. Well, it's not going to sit right here because I'm going to do something else after this. Um, but it'll sit somewhere and then tomorrow we'll unmold. Okay, so I think it's very reminiscent of the theme of Tiana Taylor's dress, don't you? It also reminds me of a hyacinth macaw. It's a huge chunk of soap, so if you bought it, you could easily cut it down the middle here and make two nice sized pieces of soap that will fit in your hand neatly. Uh, so it won't be difficult to cut through that. Okay, so I think we've got a soap very much inspired by Tiana Taylor's Met Gala dress. Um, I hope you agree. If you do, pop me some comments down below the video. And we're on to a new giveaway now. So whoever adds the most comments to my videos on my most recent videos since the last announcement. So any videos uploaded since um, the 30th of April on the next batch of videos until the 30th of June that's when we'll announce the next giveaway winner and you could win £36 worth of products from Eden Secret if you want to buy my soaps pop over to edensecret.co and if not, I'll see you here for another video very, very soon. Alright my friends, thanks for watching. Bye bye for now.